Welcome to the God Project. And this reading today is entitled The Right of the Poor by William J. Eisenman, D.D. The rich and the counterfeit Christians of the world have set their sights on the poor. Republican Christian conservatives and prosperity preachers have got it in for the poor. And Psalm 10 verses 2 and 9 sums this up well, quote, The wicked in his pride does persecute the poor. He lies in wait to catch the poor, unquote. God says we are to strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. In Ezekiel 16, 49 and 50, we are to give bread to the hungry. Ezekiel 18, verses 7, 12, 16 through 17. Real Christians are commanded not to vex the poor and the needy. Ezekiel 21, verse 29. For ideologically blind Republican conservatives, this means not cutting their food stamps. Anyone that would even contemplate such an act is a liar in calling himself a Christian. He's truly a devil appearing as an angel of light. God commands kings to show mercy to the poor. A king represents government, Daniel 4, verse 27. It is certainly not mercy when our representatives in government seek to cut all help to the poor. The poor have a right. Amos 5, verse 12. Those who have and resent giving have their consolation and resurrection may not be in their future. Luke 6, verse 24. A real Christian is to give his two coats to those who have none. Luke 3, verse 11. He is also to give meat if he has it. According to the Bible, it will always be hard for the wealthy, the plutocrats, to enter the kingdom of God because they fail to understand that to those who have much, much is required. Luke 10, verse 48. If the Bible is so clear on these points, how is it many of those calling themselves Christians have such hostility to the poor? In Acts 19, verse 35, real Christians are told to support the weak and in James 2, verse 6, real Christians are commanded not to despise the poor. In John 3, 17, it is plainly stated that the love of God does not lie in one who sees his brother in need and shuts up his bowels of compassion from him. Real Christians do not cut food stamps. They find ways of truly bringing the poor out of poverty. The farce must end. A real Christian follows Jesus, does what Jesus commands. A real Christian is not allowed to make up his own religion and call it a Christianity. He 
who does not give honor and right to the poor, as characterized herein, is a liar, a cheat, a phony, and a hypocrite. Those who would cut food stamps, who are not for free education, and won't help those facing foreclosure, who would not extend unemployment benefits, these are not Christians. They are vain. They are arrogant. They are social pests. They are troublemakers. And they are wicked, racing to do evil. We need to start calling a spade a spade and put counterfeit Christians and prosperity preachers in their place. These people are wrong, deceitful, evil. They are devils masquerading as angels of light. The end. To find out more about the God Project, go to www.newslettercensored.com and please view the page with uh, IE. It seems uh, Firefox does not render the page properly for some reason. And uh, thank you for listening. The end. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com.